there! I'm Cordell Prime and I'm bringing you a tour of you on Generations War for Cybertron Optimus Prime. Now, here he is in his alt mode. He is what I can only guess is a Cybertronian armored car. It's okay. That's okay. For details, on the front, you have right here, I guess these are the windshields. Right here you got the grill. Lights down here painted. Big old light up here is painted. These details, I guess you could say they're vents on the side. And I guess Optimus Prime is a fan of Captain America because his hubcaps look a lot like Captain America's shield. Especially with the star in the middle, pink rim around it. Going through to the side, you can see that. He even has taillights. Didn't know he had taillights, but okay. Robot kibble wise, it's his head is like that thing. And, even, and up here is his thighs, but that's not that noticeable. Not like his head. <laughs> that's really it, though. I mean, he rolls. Except for the life of me, I cannot get this back wheel here, these back wheels, to touch the ground. Look. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm doing everything the way that the instructions say, and I can't get it to touch the ground. I don't know. There's a weapon storage, so yeah, that's it on the vehicle mode, so let's transform it. Please excuse me, though, if I get screwed up on the transformation. It is very complex. Just letting you know. Remove the gun. Don't you do that yet. If I do it, I don't care. Okay, first thing you want to do, pull this forward. Lift this up. Disconnect these. I can do it. There we go. Disconnect them. Lift them up. Like that. Bring these up. Bring these up. Now this whole blue piece here, you want to disconnect from the front. It's uh, clipped in by a tab right in there, and a little hook tab there. So you want to disconnect both of those, which will allow you to now lift it up. Yeah. Starting with the uh, with the legs, what you want to do is uh, hmm. take these, flip them down. Please flip them down. Next, pull them forward. Now you can straighten the legs. Take the wheels, pull them back, bring this up, take the smokestack, rotate it around, tap it on in, like that. Same here, lift it up, rotate the smokestack, blah blah blah. blah. Tap it in. Oh, I almost forgot to bring the wheel around. Huh. See what I mean? Toes down. Oh. Slide the feet back. You can see, you can slide the feet back. Part the legs. And there you go, you got Prime's legs. Coming up to the torso, and here's where it gets fun. You want to try to bring the arms out. Push, put these wheels down. You can try to bring the arms out. You can find them in this jumbled mess. Where's the arm? Oh, there it is, right under them. There you go. Bring the arms out like this. All right. Extend it up and take this, and you rotate it back. You can see what I'm trying to do here. It's on a. It's on like a rotation joint right here. You want to rotate it around so now it's on the back. Rotate his chest around. I bumped my camera. Bring this. Uh, actually, no. You can leave this up for now. Accordion down the entire torso so it meets with the legs. Bring down the um, stomach cod piece thing. Fold the these edges in like that. And I know you can't really see that. I'm trying to. There you go. You can see. Bring those in. So now you got the uh, got the torso so far. Bring the arms down like that. Fold the wheels in the rest of the way. My camera's battery is saying that it is almost empty. That is not good. Fix the arms. Bring these down. These things here, you want to bring them up. These things here, you want to bring them up. Flip out the hands. Fix them a little bit. And here you go. War for Cybertron Prime is now in his robot mode. Looking awesome. This, I have to say, is a really nice looking Optimus Prime. Optimus Prime um, robot mode. 
articulation. Head rotates all the way around. Goes way up. Tilts down a little bit. A little bit side to side too, I guess. Arms rotate all the way around. They go in and out there and up and down there, I guess. Rotates at the bicep. He bends at the elbow. The wrists rotate. That's pretty cool. Nothing really at the waist. The legs will go forward, back, in and out. He bends at the knee. Oh, he's got a rotation at the thigh. Never noticed that. And the ankle, I believe, is on a ball joint, so you can tilt it and do all that kind of stuff, and the toes are on a joint. Yeah, great, po great uh, articulation, so you can get him into a variety of poses. Head sculpt is very much prime. It's got the uh, signature prime base plate, crest, really long antenna, antennae, whatever. Nice bit of those. Really good looking head. And I believe he also has light piping, so I can get the flashlight here. And uh, see. Yeah, you can see he does have some light piping. Alright. Here you go. What the heck? Accessory wise, we have this. This is his gun as you put it in for vehicle mode, weapon storage. It's okay, it doesn't look very primish, not a very prime gun. So what you want to do is take this, flip it, and you got a spring-loaded automorph gimmick where uh, now it becomes a regular gun. So, flip this up, fold it back, and you got like this, flip this, and there you go. Got a long handle which you can fit into Prime's hand. So now he's got a pretty cool looking gun, and you can shoot Decepticons. Awesome. Just awesome. And really, that's it on War of Cybertron Prime. Now, honestly, I highly recommend this toy. I love the way he looks. He looks like Prime. It does suit the G1 look for Prime. I'll admit, the transformation's a bit overly complicated, but once, once you follow the instructions enough, and once you do it enough and get the hang of it, it's really not that big of a problem. It's just explaining how to do it is the real the real issue. But great posability, great articulation. I love him. Pick him up. So I hope you enjoyed this review. I'll see you next time, everybody.